Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I'm a DIYer and also the owner of Studio Calm. I'm gonna do a quick little plug for Studio Calm here because we are running a sale right now. So if you like any of my original artwork, make sure to head to studiocalm.com. Now is the perfect time to shop because we're trying to make new inventory for the new collection coming in. Every week I've been working on different parts of my home like this little entryway situation that we did last week. And I've been really looking forward to doing this video because we're working on the backyard. Things just have been so hectic around here. I've been working on back-to-back -back projects and today I really just wanted to slow it down a little bit. The weather has been really warming up here and I've been dying to work on the backyard. I just haven't had the time to. You guys know that I love plants and I also love being outside. So we're gonna do a lot of that today. We're gonna be DIYing outside. I wanna set up the backyard and create my dream oasis and just improve it from where I started last year. So I'm going to take you outside and I also want to quickly thank Planta for sponsoring today's video. They are an app that I absolutely love and if you like plants, you will love them as well. So I'll talk more about them later, but let me get you guys outside and show you guys the state of the backyard. Here is the backyard right now. Honestly, it's not in the best shape. We have the hose out because I've been watering the grass and I don't have one of those um, spinny things, so it's just been out. But I've been working really hard on growing the grass back, so I will show you guys the progress of that. So you might remember last year I had these string lights up and I actually did not install them into the ground because I wasn't sure if those poles were actually good or not. They ended up leaning really really badly especially after storms so i ended up taking those out and now it just doesn't feel as magical so i definitely want to do a diy that will be prettier and also way more functional so over in this corner we have our chairs i can't wait to get those out and we have our grill and i want to put a potting bench over here so i think in this corner would be nice or i might move it over there somewhere i think it just depends on how it looks and feels but i think it would be such a great idea to have a table here that can serve as a potting bench but also a buffet whenever we have dinners out here so i want to create something that is going to be multifunctional and just look really great in this corner as well back to this little situation you might have remembered last year i got rid of all the weeds i did not put a weed barrier down so yeah we have lots and lots of weeds back i don't even know what any of this is but good news is my hostas are coming back so i have those also we have this plant I I don't remember if I planted this last year or not, but it's growing back a lot and there are these little flowers growing in. So I think it's a good sign. It looks like catnip though. So I don't know if that's a weed or not, but it looks pretty for now. We have the swing from the previous owner that I want to actually replace with a better looking swing. So I'm excited for that. And then I want to show you guys what I've been working on out here. So I've been working on the grass. This actually used to be all dirt. I planted the grass seed like two or three weeks ago and now we are getting the grass in so I'm very very happy because this was so patchy before. So we'll have a nice border for all of our plants. I really want to work on this back area because as you can see I did lay down some mulch but then I ran out so I gave up but I really want to plant some nice flowers down here. Last year we didn't plant anything over here so this year I really want to make sure it looks nice. I think for the most part we just have grasses and hostas but we don't really have flowers so I really want to add some color back here and just bring it back to life. And also back here are these plant beds that I actually DIY'd myself. It is a hexagon, it has these cool shapes and I have basil, mint, lavender, cilantro. I have so many things growing back here and I'm very very proud of the progress back here. It just makes me so happy. Okay so I just scared the mama bird but we have a little nest at our house. We actually had her come last year and now she's back. I'm pretty sure she laid her eggs so I will keep you guys updated on the little robins that are gonna come soon. Okay so we are going to do some flower shopping later on in the video but I wanted to show you guys my new plants. I might put these outside. I am not sure yet. I know that a lot of you out there are also a plant lover like I am so I'm excited to show you guys the Planta app. If you don't already have it you definitely need to because it is an award-winning app that helps people keep their plants alive and after buying and taking care of a lot of plants I learned that I just really like low maintenance plants because I am really bad at keeping a CARES 
schedule. But now with Planta, I finally feel like a good plant parent and I'm trying to keep it up. So if I go on their app, I basically can see all of my plants right here. You can add them in to an intelligent care schedule and it will basically give you reminders of when to water or mist or fertilize it. So if you look right here, it shows me that I have to water these plants today and then you can also click upcoming and it'll show you what you have to do tomorrow in two days. You can even name all of your plants in here, which I think is super cute. If you have a plant that's not doing so well like this one, I picked it up at the store. It has some browning leaves and even like this leaf is literally just dangling. I'm gonna use the Dr. Planta feature in here to figure out what is wrong with it and how I can best treat it. All you have to do is just snap a picture of the plant, especially in the areas that need help. And then basically it'll tell us exactly what we need to do to fix the issue. Okay, I have the diagnosis. It basically says that this plant is overwatered, so whatever they were doing at the nursery was not helping it at all. And now I have it diagnosed and it's going to be added to my care schedule and hopefully we can make it look even better. If you're ever shopping for a plant and you don't know what the exact name of it, you can actually put it into the plant identification feature and it'll tell you exactly what it is. That's exactly what I did with this plant when I saw it. It basically is just labeled as a caladium, but not what type it was so I put it in the app and I found out exactly what it needs to thrive and luckily this beautiful plant should do well in my house so I'm so happy to add it just look at how beautiful this leaf is I am totally obsessed with this the app is free to download so I'll have the link below for you and they also gave me a special code so that you guys can get a 14 day free trial of the plant premium plan so that you can try out all those features that I shared with you the first project we're gonna work on is a potting bench and I wanted to find something that was pretty easy easy to make and also very affordable. I found this post by Anna White who is an amazing woodworker. She has a YouTube channel that I will link below as well. But she has free plans for this potting bench right here and it's only made with two by fours and one by fours. What I really like about the project is that you don't need a lot of tools and it's also very beginner friendly. So if you guys have been wanting to make a potting bench, this honestly is such a great option. You can definitely customize it to whatever size you want. So I think I'm just gonna keep it the same because it's gonna fit in this little nook perfectly. And I think I'm gonna paint it to add a little bit more color to the backyard. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Let's get started I actually have never had a dedicated space to take care of my plants So I'm very excited to have a potting bench in my life Usually I just work on the floor with a garbage bag, but not anymore And if you're a plant parent, let me know in the comments what your first plant was I feel like a lot of people's first plants were probably a succulent that someone gifted to you But let me know in the comments what yours was. I believe mine was a succulent because they were so trendy at the time and you could buy them anywhere. Nowadays, I won't even buy one because my house just like does not get enough light. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, there's something about taking care of plants that feels like self-care. So now I get to do it outside in my backyard and it's going to be my own little naturey plant oasis. Everything is cut and ready to be sanded and assembled. I am just following along with exactly what the plans show me, which honestly has been so fun because it kind of feels like I'm putting together a puzzle. There are a few steps for this, but I think I can get it done and it's gonna look so cute. If you wanna follow along with this project, I will have it linked below for you. when I buy her these, by the way. He gets me one like every other day. It's so bad for you. How's that a problem? Oh my goodness. much fun with this project you guys this is where we're at right now this is basically the base and then to put on the countertop we need to use these pieces 
and this will basically fit in between there. It'll be kind of slatted and then all the way up here and then the bottom shelf as well. But before I do that, I actually want there to be a contrast. So I want the outside to be green and then the wood slats just to stay wood. So I'm gonna paint this first. We'll see if we will actually prime the whole thing because I'm feeling a little bit lazy. So I might just prime the front pieces and then the sides will be straight up paint probably. Okay, so it's a little bit windy, so I don't know how well you guys are gonna hear me, but I'm gonna get started on the string light planters. So to attach them, I'm gonna use these brackets. It honestly might not need it because I'm gonna use cement to weigh it down, but I just wanted to put this on here so it'll be super sturdy. If you don't wanna use these, you can just put some planks on the side and that way it'll center it, but I wanted to make sure that they were centered, so this is going to make that so much easier. I also got some hooks to screw into the tops, and that will keep our string light in place. And then I have whatever cement I have left over from this. That's what I'm going to use for the planter. I'm screwing in four of the braces to each of the sides, and this was pretty easy. I didn't have to make any pilot holes or anything. And for the top, I added a cup hook so that will hold the light. Then I got Brian to help me center the poles, and I just screwed it right into the planter. You can mix this up right in the pot and I just added in a little bit of water at a time until I got a thick oatmeal-like consistency. After this, I actually ended up adding in more cement and I let this dry overnight. This is definitely a very popular project to do because you can do it in just one weekend and it adds so much life to your yard. These are all set. I'm gonna fill it with sand and also soil and then we're gonna put in the flowers which I'm so excited about because this is gonna add such a nice pop of color. For the planters, I got these little annuals. So I wanted like yellow and white, but I couldn't find any yellow. So I ended up going with white, this beautiful like violet color, and then some pinks. And then I also got this little guy to kind of trail off of the edge. And then for the garden, I actually got some perennials. So these will come back next year. And of course, had to get the yellow. And then these are really cute, little delicate purple flowers. There used to be a huge swing set in this backyard and I feel like this year the patches from that are finally going away. This is definitely the best that it's looked in a while. Also, embarrassing story, but we were total noobs when it came to yards when we first moved in. During the fall season, we let all of the leaves from our ginormous tree just fall off. So we were literally knee deep in dead leaves. It was a huge first time homeowner mistake that we made out of pure laziness because we just didn't feel like raking. So after that, we have actually been trying our best to keep the yard looking nice year round. So unless you wanna spend hours raking or hiring someone lots of money to do it, please do not make the same mistake we did. And just like taking care of plants, gardening has also become a form of self care for me. Me, so it's nice to come in the mornings and water all the grass and the flowers. It already looks so much better after adding the mulch and now I just have to wait patiently for all of our flowers to bloom to add even more color back here. 
let's hope I remember how to do this. Perfectly right here. Ooh, so cute! Oh, it looks so good against the blue. Okay, my goal is to finish this today, so I just added these little support pieces on the back, and now we're gonna do these tops as well as the back. And I'm gonna use a spacer so that everything is exactly a half inch apart. Let's finish this baby up. I'm gonna change this out, but we're just gonna put it up for the B-roll, even though it's gonna be way too high. Oh, oh my god, oh. oh. I feel experienced now. Oh my god, are you going down? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ugh. There you go. Look at how high this is. <laughs> You just need to get on like this. Okay, wait. I'm scared. What if the branch like breaks? Oh my god, you guys. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. Yes, it is. But you gotta get on like right here. Here, you should get on. Oh. Oh god. That needs to be changed. <laughs> so nice just to be outside work on the backyard and kind of take things slow this week so i hope you guys enjoyed those projects the yard is looking so much better and i can't wait to give you guys some more updates as things continue to grow we have a lot more blooms coming in so i will keep you guys updated but let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments below i am totally obsessed with the new potting bench and i can't wait to get more plants in there and just repot a whole bunch of them and a huge thank you to planta for sponsoring today's video if you want a 14 day free trial of the planta premium plan make sure to use my code in the description box if you want to keep up with me and see how the backyard progresses make sure to check me out over on instagram i post on there every single day and that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching stay inspired and i will see you in the next one bye